Hi friend. Today I want to talk to you about my plans for the bunny subdivision that we're going to build. Come on, let's go. In our effort to become more self-sufficient, um, I wanted to bring bunnies onto our little homestead here in the city. And so I had a leftover chicken coop and we'll be talking about that. The chickens now have a bigger home, so we had a little bit of room. And, um, oh look, there's our old windows. I'm gonna build a little greenhouse out of those. So let's go over here and um, talk about what we're gonna do with the rabbit tree. I think you'll be excited. Also, don't let me forget to uh, get a little snack for the bun buns before we go in. Here's our cute little rabbit tree. It was a chicken coop that I purchased off of Amazon. And even though it said it would hold three to four chickens, I didn't really feel like the girls had much room. And uh, we were letting them free range a little bit, but even though we clipped both of their wings, they were still getting out and getting into the neighbor's yards. And that's not allowed here in the city. So here's the nice little door. Eventually I'll put a little run here for the rabbits, the nesting boxes, of course, and I don't know if the rabbits will want to use the nesting box, but what I'm going to do is use the uh, bucket method for burrows and I'm going to put them in right there. So I need to measure and make sure that everything will fit correctly before I make my order. So let's do that. So at the end, I had about 10 feet where that I didn't know what to do with and so I just kind of threw it on the back side and um, I think we'll come out tonight and take a look at it and see where we might be able to run the, the extra 10 feet. Um, it's possible I could just put it on the run when the run is here or maybe on the the little burrows that we're going to put out here for nesting boxes. Um, but for right now I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out and let's see what it looks like tonight. Also think that the chickens are probably going to be jealous that the bunnies got some holiday decor and thankfully the, the lights I purchased came in a set of two so if it looks good and um, oh shoot the eggs there they are I might be able to fit one or two in my pocket it's making me nervous so as I was saying I think that the chickens might also want some lights and I do have another set so depending on what it looks like tonight we might need to run some lights for the chickens as well oh don't forget the bunnies let's go see what we have I think there's some broccoli greens in this one Oh, we might want to go with kohlrabi greens. These are tiny little broccolis. Oh, that guy's sad. So we got some nice greens for the bunnies. Let's go see what they think. As you saw, I, um, well, I put these clippers away. I cut any of the kohlrabi greens, and there was a block broccoli greens too, that were rusty on the ground because they're not gonna make it anyway. And the bunnies may as well eat them. Knock, knock, I have snacks for bunnies. Oh, yeah. Hoya! <gasps> bunnies, ah, Quinn, you're gonna get out. You're gonna get run over. I come bearing snacks. Want the food. Stop being so cute. Come here, bunnies. Oh, it's a buffet. We have to get some bunny close ups. Oh, they're sharing. Bunny love. Those faces. They're so cute. 
Oh, look at that. I looked out the window and I saw that the lights had popped on. The rabbit tree is all lit up and ready for Kitty and Calico. Thanks for joining me today. And if you're excited about seeing where our rabbit tree slash colony slash subdivision is going please hit that subscribe button and the like the thumbs up like button and we look forward to seeing you again